Crypto is by far the craziest market on the face of the planet, where you can get insane returns that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Imagine this, you find the newest, hottest meme coin, and you put just a little bit of money in there, and you watch it go up, and up, and up, until one day you have a million dollars. Well, that's happening all the time in crypto right now. The proof is there on chain. In fact, I've tracked multiple wallets that have made over a million dollars from some of the latest meme coins like Grok. And I wanna break down exactly how they did that in this video today and how if you're a blockchain developer or an aspiring blockchain developer, you can also get an edge in doing this. I'm gonna tell you all this is a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master and get ahead of the next crypto explosion, then I can show you how to do that step-by-step step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. So as the crypto markets heat up for the next expansion in 2024, meme coin season is officially back. Some of the latest coins like Grok have exploded out of nowhere from zero and have minted millionaires in only a month's time. In fact, this wallet on chain invested a mere $1,600 and made over $1.1 million in profit off of Grok by itself. Now, this person is definitely an outlier here. And you may say like, hey, I don't want to invest over $1,000 into some crazy meme coin that might go to zero. This person right here invested a mere $70 and has made a whopping $800,000 if you include their realized returns and their unrealized profit, which they can sell at any time and easily turn that into close to a million dollars. So the point here is these new opportunities pop up in crypto where you can take a really small amount of money and turn it into an insanely large amount of money that you're not going to find anywhere else, potentially life-changing money. And so how are they doing this? Well, the common thread from all these super successful meme coin speculators is that they are getting in early, like super duper early before anybody else and then riving the wave, okay? So if that's the key, getting in early, what are some tools and tactics you can use to be at the front of the line before other people? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you now are some tools that you can use to get ahead of the line before other people who are, you know, getting into these meme coins. Now, before I do that, all right, a massive disclaimer, nothing I'm saying this is video is zombie financial advice. I'm not saying that you buy any particular meme coins that I'm talking about in this video. And it would be wrong of me not to tell you that meme coins are insanely risky, okay? All the money that you put into this could potentially go to zero and putting any sizable amount of money into meme coins can get you absolutely wrecked. But with that being said, let's take a look. All right, so in order to be able to get ahead of these trends, you have to really be able to do two things. Number one is identify memes before they really explode. And number two is to get the tools to find them before they explode. So let's take a look at some of their most recent uh, successful cases like Grok, for example. Okay, so basically Grok is a meme coin about the artificial intelligence model that was put out by you know, Elon Musk and his companies. Okay, so why was it a successful meme? Well, Elon is just a memeable person. AI is a huge narrative for crypto. And therefore, these things kind of formed a confluence of factors to make this meme take off. And another example of a recent meme coin that popped up like crazy was the CZ coin. Basically, after CZ from Binance, as soon as the news came out that he was going to step down as CEO, somebody launched a meme coin and it went absolutely parabolic. So that's kind of the first step is basically a lot of the meme coins that come out recently have been from news flow, like some big news happens that could potentially impact crypto in some way. And then somebody launches a meme coin about that and it turns into a meme that potentially blows up. OK, so that's one thing is really having your pulse on what's happening in the news. How could that affect crypto? How could people feel about it? And then instantly searching for any meme coins that could be launching based upon that news. So that being said, how do you find them? All right, so you have to understand that a lot of these meme coins that are popping out of nowhere just get launched on decentralized exchanges or DEXs. Basically, somebody just makes a coin really fast, adds liquidity to an app like Uniswap. So basically, people are going to apps like Uniswap, connecting their wallet, and they're purchasing them this way. They're not going to be available on things like Coinbase or some other centralized exchange. So basically, obviously, you have to have a wallet with some gas tokens inside of it in order to purchase the tokens. Uh, through a DEX like Uniswap, Uniswap is the most popular place for these meme coins to launch. Okay, so that's the first prerequisite. Now, how do you, if you're prepared to do that, how do you find new meme coins that might be launching after some type of news has come out? Well, you can use a tool like uh, DEX Tools. We'll also look at DEX Screener here in a second. But DEX Tools has a, uh, a pool explorer, basically click on that tab, new live pairs, and it will literally show you every single Uniswap trading pair 
that's launching in real time. So uh, most of the ones I'm looking at right now are probably scams. So don't like watch this video and go find these coins. But basically, you can see like here's a pool deployed, you know, a minute ago, four minutes ago, six minutes ago. All right. And so when you're seeing these really new pools, like that's the time frame that some of these early investors got in on these meme coins before they pumped like crazy. Now, you have to be careful here because you might even see tokens with the same name, like duplicated over and over again. And so you got to make sure that you're not getting into something that's going to be a scam or a rug pull. Sometimes it's hard to know for sure, but I'll show you some tools here in a second that will help reduce some of your risk in that case. All right, so in addition to this, you can use a website like DexScreener.com to look at some of the new pools and also open up like a Dex terminal. So basically, you can go to the new pairs tab. All right, you can actually set some filters here. I'm going to set the filters to uh, pair age, maximum age of one hour. Okay, you can see everything that's launched uh, within the past hour. Okay. So I'm just going to click on one of these, like whatever I click on this video is not an endorsement of this project. Basically, let's just click on this one. And you can see this is a newly launched token. And if I change it to the one minute chart, you can see what the price is doing. Okay, so I don't know what this token is. Don't buy this necessarily. But you can see this really early price action. You can see other metrics about it, like it has $2.1 million of liquidity inside of it. It has a $27 million fully diluted valuation. Here's a token price. And here's what's currently happening in the trading activity. Now, I talked a minute ago about you obviously want to avoid some type of you know security issue. Like, is this going to be a rug pull? Is it a scam coin? Well, there's a couple of nice features inside of here. You can check on this Go Security tab. It'll tell you, like, are there issues? Like, is the contract actually verified? Are there any other red flags? And it'll give you some sort of green check marks. Uh, is there a buy sell tax? It's kind of giving you a warning. There's a little bit higher buy sell tax here, not too high, but something to watch out for. You can also check on Token Sniffer, which will give you an, a link to an external website that will basically tell you if there's any red flags with the token. So this is giving it some red flags here, like owner of the wallet contains less than 5% of circulating supply, so it contains more than that. And also a red flag that the liquidity uh, for the token is not locked. So it looks like there's a risk here. This token could be, you know, just rug pulled, like the liquidity for it could be yanked from Uniswap at any time where it's not sellable. Now, contrast that to another successful token like Grok, okay, and you look at its security scores, you see this lock up here, you can click on it, it's total liquidity for the thing is locked for a very long time. Okay, so there's really low risk of this being a rug pull in this case. Again, I don't know what's going to happen with Grok. I'm not endorsing it necessarily. But these are the types of things that give people confidence to buy. And also in terms of security issues, uh, there's no major security issues. It does have a blacklist and a whitelist, so something to think about. But everything else like buy tax, sell tax is 0%. It's not a honeypot. There's no security issues with the owner of the contract or anything like that. And so once you've done that, okay, you've done your basic due diligence, which you have to get good at doing really fast because, again, when these things launch, you have to get in early and you want to be able to check this stuff quickly. You essentially can just go trade it on Uniswap. And Dex Screener has a nice little link here where you can just uh, click on that. It will automatically populate the token that you want to buy. You'll say you want to buy it with ETH. All right. You connect your wallet, click swap, and boom. You've got a bag of the meme coin. Okay. So again, a lot of these things are really risky. You have to be careful when you're getting out of this. There could be multiple grocks whenever you're starting out. You don't necessarily know which one's the right one. So Again, I definitely don't rec recommend putting any substantial amount of money into meme coins. You can see that even really small bets can pay off handsomely. There's all types of things you can do to hedge your risk. Like as soon as you pull a two or three X off the token, you can take your initial money plus the gas fees out. And then you have this meme coin sitting in there for free. Okay. And you have all your original money back. And sure, you would have had more if you kept on to it later. But if you do what smart traders do and you sell a little bit along the way, it doesn't matter. You're never going to find the top perfectly. But then that gives you some exposure to where you could see a pretty nice return basically for free. Earlier in this video, I said you can also get a better edge at this as a developer. So if you are a developer, you're an aspiring developer, you can do things like run scripts, okay, that can find these pools and actually give you notifications about pools that you might want to see before other people, okay? So I've done this. I've written my own scripts to kind of alert me about new pools that are coming up. I can do things like completely automate the security process like you're talking about. So basically, you see a new pool come up, you can check the security of it with code, okay? You don't have to like go to a website, click a bunch of buttons, and then you can basically get a signal to alert yourself like, do you actually want to go in on this particular project? Now, you could fully automate this to where you could have a wallet that could buy for you if the business rules for doing that are, are good, but you have to be careful because anytime you're you know giving a bot money uh, there's always potential risk for bugs in your code. I'm not doing that at this point in time. I'm mostly getting something that alerts me of new things uh, that could be even faster from the tools that I showed you in this video. 
And that's potentially the type of thing you can do as a blockchain developer. All right, so that's an overview of how you can use some of these tools and techniques to find about meme coins before other people. And even with a small amount of money could generate a huge amount of returns. Now, that being said, again, I really want to stress in this video, uh, this is not something that is really safe to do, okay? I definitely do not advise putting any significant amount of money into meme coins because you could lose every single dollar that you put into this. But there could be a small win here that could pay back way more than the losses, but you have to know the risks about this uh, before you even try this. But these are some of the tools that I personally use and how I'm using my blockchain development skills to get an edge in this. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. And if you want to become a blockchain developer so you can do these types of things and get an edge that other people don't have, then I can share to become a blockchain master step-by-step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.